Everything you need to know about Tor. Tor, the onion router, is an anonymous network that is ran by many thousands upon thousands of relays all over the world, who in turn are run by active volunteers, which allows anyone using the Tor network to have pretty good privacy, avoid censorship and government restrictions, and access geo-restricted or otherwise non-accessible media, such as news articles from publishers such as ProPublica. Tor allows users to browse the web anonymously, without surveillance or tracking. It also opens up a whole new world of internet for you to explore, except on Tor, you're likely to come across stuff you would not normally see on the clear net, such as marketplaces for buying and selling of illegal stuff like drugs, weapons, etc. It's also used to manage cryptocurrencies such as Monero, Bitcoin, Ethereum, etc., and to a much lesser extent, Tor is used for reading dark web forums, publishing comic books, images, and accessing information and media that is simply blocked or heavily regulated in your own country. Tor is free and open source, and it can be used on a wide variety of operating systems, including but not limited to Windows, Mac OS, Linux, FreeBSD, as well as Android and iOS. It is possible that Tor may exist for other operating systems as well. Tor is an excellent way to add valuable privacy back into your everyday online life, but unfortunately, Tor has limitations, for instance, you cannot stream or watch videos, because the Tor network is very slow, too slow for such things, and doing so would be a compromise to your anonymity. Tor is all about being anonymous and private, so contradicting any of the privacy measures will blow your cover, and then you're doomed. Not really, but if you lived in a place where Tor is illegal, you could find yourself in some serious trouble with both law enforcement and your government, you could face charges, or worse yet, jail time. So before you start using Tor, please do some research on it and potentially think about using an extra layer of security and protection to avoid alerting your ISP and government that you are on the Tor network. Government agencies are constantly cracking down on Tor, all over the world, because they know that their citizens use it to circumvent censorship and subvert the norms of the internet. This is extremely important to note because Tor, as well as Tails OS, provide verification signatures which must be checked before you use Tails OS or the Tor browser. You are to never ever run Tor or special security software without first checking the integrity of the package, to ensure it has not been tampered with, and depending on the specific method on how to check your verification signature, it varies greatly depending on your operating system and the software that is needed to check the signature of the software. If you want to download and install the Tor browser, simply search for, Tor browser, and a link by the torproject.org should show up as a first result. You download the specific version for your operating system. For mobile users on Android and iOS, download the Tor from the Apple App Store or Google Play Store. Do not run Tor until you have verified that the package has not been tampered with. You can use a program such as Cleopatra to decrypt a PGP signature, or find alternative methods for Windows and Mac OS, and for Linux users, you can use the official guide from the Tor browser website on how to verify the package using the terminal. If you want to go one step further than simply using Tor on your host OS, you can run it on Tails or Unix. Tails OS is a live, amnesic, incognitive, operating system, Hunix is very similar but instead of running live, you run it inside a virtual machine, using VirtualBox or VMware, or another piece of virtualization software. Tails is more convenient for those of you who wish not to use a VM, however, I strongly recommend that you do not run Tails inside a virtual machine, this can defeat some of its security tactics that are supposed to make you anonymous, such as MAC address randomization and your host OS will certainly track your every move, so do not use Tails in a virtual machine unless you can trust your operating system and the virtualization software to not track your every move and keep a copy of what you are doing. This is why Hunix is a much better alternative, it actually works out to be the more convenient of the two systems, Hunix is specifically made to run inside a VM, and it can be separated and compartmentalized, meaning that you can separate them and heavily reduce the chances of them getting infected or spoofed, so if one gets compromised, all of the others will not, this is a similar way to how Cubes OS works, except Cubes OS, like Tails, is made for physical hardware, and it is much harder to use, so for you less tech savvy users, or newbies to Tor, it's recommended you try an easy distro first. Tor is a wonderful way to browse the web worry free of any tracking, data harvesting or collecting, and selling of personal data, however, it is very important to be aware that Tor is not 100% anonymous, it has its limitations, and it can be dangerous to use in places where Tor and VPNs are proactively blocked or prohibited, so always do some extensive reading and research before you start using Tor, and another worthy tip is that you must understand OPSEC, operational security, 
This is a fundamental part to staying more private when using Tor, and to ensure you do not do something that will blow your anonymity. There are many do's and don'ts with Tor, all of which I will cover shortly. And another thing worth noting is that you need to change some privacy settings in Tor to ensure you have the safest and most protection possible. I will also cover this shortly. About those do's and don'ts of Tor, there are multiple things you can and cannot do. The don'ts are seriously risky and must be avoided at all costs as this can blow your cover, in the snap of a finger, just like that. First of all, you must never ever download a file using Tor browser or any of the private Linux systems such as Dales OS, as this reveals your real IP address, and someone can easily pinpoint your using Tor, and if you're at a public place such as a library, this can get you into some serious trouble, as Tor would most likely be blocked or prohibited on public networks. Most internet service providers also block Tor, so this is why you must use a VPN, proxy, or some extra form of protection and disguise to use Tor. You are to never ever maximize the Tor browser window, as this can leak relevant information about the size of the screen, which once again, can make it much easier to pinpoint someone who is using Tor. You are to never ever use Tor or private Linux systems without first verifying their signatures, because if you don't, you could be using a hacked version that is actually doing the exact opposite of what these tools and systems are designed to do, so never ever use Tor, Dales, or anything like that until you have verified that the signature is good, and that the package came from its original developers. Never ever use Tor without the safest protection option, as this can open up a door for vulnerabilities. You must ensure that the safest protection mode is on, but by default, Tor browser has standard protection. To change this, go to Settings, Privacy and Security, and then under, Protection, choose the safest protection option. I have a separate video covering the process on how to do this, please watch it if you're interested. You are to never ever sign into a real world account, or one associated with a real world identity as this can blow your cover so easily it's not funny. You are to never ever share files using Tails OS, Hunix, or any of the private Linux distros without first doing some research and finding the right method for sharing them anonymously. A utility called OnionShare is an anonymous file sharing application that shares your files but in a way which they cannot be identified. Still, it's advisable to not share files on such systems, as this can blow your cover. Finally, never ever use Tor without first using a proxy, VPN or a bridged connection, as you do not want to give your government and authorities a reason to unnecessarily spy and keep tabs on you, if you're found to use Tor without disguising it, it will be red flagged and then give them a reason to find you guilty of a crime, regardless of whether or not you did anything illegal, you must remember that the authorities have absolute power that a citizen simply do not, do not give the cops a reason to closely monitor you, and potentially fit you up with charges, or worse yet, be placed under arrest, for committing no crime whatsoever. Another thing worth noting is that while you can remain pretty well private using Tor, it is not bulletproof, and you're never ever 100% anonymous in this online world, and the insanity of following the procedures to actually be almost fully private is not worth it for most people, in fact, a good chunk of people all over the world do not care about their privacy, governments could take advantage of that and use it to block VPNs, Tor, and other security tools, but only for the citizens, however, if anyone in the world uses VPNs and privacy tools the most, it is most notably your government, does not matter whether we are looking at the CIA, ASIO, or other government agencies, businesses also heavily rely on VPNs, but fear not, because in most places, the use of Tor and VPNs remains legal for the time being, and it is not likely that they will be taken from us consumers anytime soon, however, with the increasing trend towards fascism, this is a startling worry for all of us as governments could revoke privacy tools for us citizens in the future, and the funny part is, most people vote against their own interest, so is it any wonder stuff like this is possibly going to happen? No, it is not, so start fighting for your right to have privacy and freedom online, do not get complacent with data harvesting, collecting, and selling, stop letting these corrupt corporations do their dirty deeds, monitor, and exploit you, and say no to privacy tools like VPNs being taken away like this video to hack the algorithm, share, comment, and subscribe, and I shall catch you in the next one.